Are you struggling to transfer your BIM model into reality? Let me show you three different ways to build up your project and choose the most appropriate for you. I would say the floor layouts are the foundation of the well-constructed project. We use layouts to make sure everything is in the correct place and all the building elements are coordinated properly. However, did you know there are different ways to layout the floor? Let's consider a few options of framing plan layout plus their advantages and disadvantages. By the way, I'm Vlada, I'm Framing Detailer at New Vision Agency and we've covered framing on more than 40 projects. The first way might be a traditional, the overall dimension plan layout of stick framing. We have a simple floor plan with different type of dimension for wall ends, doors, windows and storefronts. There are also tags for rough openings, units and wall types. Additionally, any text will be useful. The way this layout works is that the installer print the drawings, go through the floor and make some marks with a tape measure referring the dimension of this plan. They leave a mark on each item that is dimensioned on the drawings. This way is pretty cheap and simple, but it can take a long time, especially for larger buildings. There is also a traditional method like the first, but it's distinguished simply by a different construction approach prefabricated panels. Panels have typical panel lengths, which is basically 4 or 6 inches for the interior framing, but can vary, especially for the exterior framing. We can connect the sheeting, put the name on this panel at the factory and then transfer them to the construction field. In this case, we have dimensions of the panel ends and contour joints between them. The installer will need to measure panel ends on the floor plan and then, using the lifting crane, install these panels. In fact, the panels have their individual name and the installer needs to follow the drawings to install these panels to their correct place. This way might take less time and be easier to install. But it requires some prefab work with the panels and additional equipment to leave these panels. These two layouts are very traditional and well tested in the construction field. When we look at architectural drawings, there are many sheets with different details. And in order to not miss anything, we need to take the full set and follow all the precise details. But creating the dimension plan layout, we just put everything together on one drawing and the installer will need to have only one or two sheets printed. For this, all needed tags have to be shown on the plan, but it should not be overloaded with information in order to remain readable for the layout person. We often create such layouts for our customers and it's really convenient if done properly. And by the way, if you want your project skyrocketing, don't forget to put that big thumb up button below this video and subscribe to our channel. Let's continue. The one more option is the point layout plan. There are some software programs that can take coordinates of different elements, export them to the total station and actually lay out specific points. The layout person will need to set up the first point using the survey coordinates at the actual construction site. Then, referring to them, just mark all control points using the robotic total station. The points can be assigned to almost everything – opening edge or center the wall finish layer or center line of the walls, inside corners, outside corners or both. They are often used for hangers, electrical and mechanical systems. The big advantage of this is that the control points allow for more points from which to measure and show the elevations of the objects. So they are used for all the elements in the field of construction. By using point layout, contractors can better pinpoint project coordinates and measurement, capture as-built conditions and move data between the field and office. The common software is used for that is the Autodesk point layout and Trimble field points. They both are tools to incorporate the accurate beam model to the construction field. This is a pretty convenient way to allocate all the elements correctly and reduce the human factors on Side. The last way to lay out is through Dusty Robotics. It's actually my favorite option. The installer just needs to manage the robot in this case. We create the plan layout with all of the Dusty Robotics requirements – line styles, color and weights, window and door tags, and tolerances from the floor edges. This plan is exported to the supported format of the robot and it is drawing all of the items on the floor. The layout person will have a pad with exported file and direct the robot. The Dusty Robot is using shared coordination system, so we can be sure it will put 
all the elements in the correct place. It will put tags on each element you need to see on the plan. We can see the exact location of wall start layers and finishes, door center lines and rough opening dimensions. It will actually print all of these items in the floor. The automated field printer completes the layout 10 times faster than the regular construction layout. And it builds directly off the coordinated beam model with 1 16th accuracy. This way is pretty fast and simple because you minimize your work with drones and shorten the workload of installers on site. We are certified Dusty Beam partners and we have great experience to work with them and many of our customers use the Dusty for their projects. I'm still waiting for you to hit the like button below this video and subscribe to the channel. Sometimes the building need to be renovated in a few years and we need to make sure the building is constructed according to the drawings. In this case, it's better to use the layout that will reduce errors and misalignments. When there are errors in the field because of the lack of clear construction layout, the laser scan will be needed. However, if the field printer was used, we will be able to use the same beam model for future changes. So, in the conclusion, we really have three options of floor layouts and if I rank it to my personal preference, then Dusty Robotics would be at the top of the list. Second place is the point layout. The traditional construction layout with stick or panelized framing come together in third place. Which type of layout do you use? Share your experience working with this layout and issues you faced with in the comments below. Thank you for tuning in and see ya!